Hi everyone. So today we are at Texas Plant Connection in Bryan, Texas. We are going to be checking out all of the beautiful plants that they have at their location here. And unlike normally when we do plant shop tours in the area that I live where I know you guys like to see all of the plants that are available in my area because lots of times it's different than in your area. But unfortunately, normally you can't get those plants to yourself if you see something you like. However, this is a slightly different situation because they do also do live sales on the Palm Street app. And I would like to take a moment to thank Palm Street for being the sponsor of today's video. So what that means for you is if you do see something you're interested in today, you can download the Palm Street app using the link in the description below. Go sign up for notifications from Texas Plant Connection, hop on their next live, and maybe you can get one of these plants for yourself. But first, I'd like to introduce you to the owners of Texas Plant Connection, and we're going to talk to them about how all of this came to be. Okay, you guys, we have Sarah and Chris here from Texas Plant Connection. So go ahead and tell us a little bit about how Texas Plant Connection came to be. Uh, yeah, so I uh, was the cereal plant addict. Um, so I started collecting plants. Um, at one point I was even hiding them from Chris as mm -hmm. sometimes people do. Um, and then finally um, we were, I was just kind of building up my plant collection and um, I realized there was a serious need for um, more variety here, especially in Bryan College Station. Um, so I started kind of propagating my own plants, kind of selling off some of my own collection. Um, and we started a Facebook group that got a really big following. Then we kind of branched out into um, sourcing from other local nurseries. Um, and then eventually we um, ended up selling our house, moving, um, and we made a little plant shop uh, out of our guest house. Um, so that became our former business. Um, so we did that for about three years. Um, and then finally we were just, you know, kind of running out of space, wanted to expand a little bit more. And that's when we opened uh, Texas Plant Connection as it is right now. Um, so we opened November, 2022. Um, and it has been amazing ever since. Um, so that's kind of how it came about. Um, yeah, just a serious plant addiction. <laughs> okay. And so how long have you been doing live sales particularly on the Palm Street app? Yeah. We have been streaming for a little over a year. I would say about June was when they introduced live streaming. We were one of the first to sign up for it and we have not looked back. Um, Palm Street live selling is basically the only way we sell plants besides coming in store to get them physically here. Okay. And do you have a set schedule for your live streams? Uh, we don't, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, we've been working on that. Um, but I would say usually we're on at least three to four times a week. Um, usually Mondays is a pretty consistent day for us. Um, the rest of the week is just kind of, um, you know, as as we're able to. Um, we're also parents to a beautiful 15 month old daughter, so uh, which she is napping in my office right now. Um, so that definitely, uh, you know, kind of affects our our schedule um, as far as that goes personally, but we're usually on at least three to four times a week. Um, if it was, if it were up to us, we'd be on probably every day, but we love it. Anything else in particular you want people to know? Um, definitely check out Palm Street. Um, it is, I mean, it's been a game changer for us as plant sellers and buyers um, because the problem with a lot of online selling is, you know, you go to a website, you see a plant for sale, you see a picture, and you don't know anything else about the plant, um, Palm or Street, the business. or the business, um, or how they ship, you know, um, and it's kind of, you know, a lot of it's, you know, grower's choice. You don't know if your plant is going to look anything like what it's advertised in the photo. Um, so that's what we really love about Palm Street. It gives us a chance to uh, connect directly with our customers that, you know, may not be local to Bryan College Station, um, and they can ask us questions about plant care, about the plant itself, and we get to show off the exact plant that they're getting. Um, we've shipped probably close to, I don't know, I would say 20 to 30,000 plants. At least um, 20. We haven't gone back to do the math, but at least 20,000 plants yeah, have been shipped um, from us. And a lot of that has been on Palm Street. So we are very experienced shippers. We've got a wonderful um, team of dedicated shippers that come in every Sunday and pack the plants um, as if they were their own. Um, and we certainly want um, our customers to receive their plants the same way that we would want to, because we also buy a lot of plants. So, um, 
but yeah, Palm Street is awesome. Um, and definitely don't hesitate to check it out. Um, we have usually a huge variety of different things. We'll do anything from, you know, $1 start, um, Monstera Albo auctions to, Very um, good billies. Yeah. So it's just everything a little bit of between. everything. Um, and whatever we don't carry other sellers do. So it's just been a wonderful platform and community. Um, we've made some, what I would say are going to be lifelong friends there. Um, so it's been awesome for us, um, and for our business. So we definitely encourage everyone to check it out. Um, you will not regret it. Your, your bank account might, but you won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to show everybody around so they can see everything you've got to offer. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, you guys. So starting over here, we do have a lovely looking ZZ plant for $39.99. We've got a Monstera Deliciosa up here for $27.99. Here is a Philodendron Melanochrysum that actually looks good unlike any of the ones that I have tried to maintain in my home. This looks like it is $125. I'm not surprised because these are relatively large leaves. Just here's my hand for comparison compared to what you're used to seeing on mine, which are leaves like about this big. This actually looks really, really good. The growth looks good. There's a new leaf coming in right there that is not stuck or deformed, which is a miracle. Once again, just in my experience. Here we've got an Aglianema Mary Ann. Looks very similar to the Aglianema, Aglianema Maria for $34.99. Another Philodendron Milano Chrysum. This one does have a little bit of leaf damage there from who knows what, but all in all, still nice big leaves. Definitely it's sizing up the way I wish mine would. More of the Aglianemas, the ZZ plants. Here is an Epiprimidum pinnatum albo growing up a stake. Now, this is what mine wants to do, you guys, or what I should let mine do because I am just getting crazy runners because I'm not letting it grow up something that it can climb like it wants to. But even then, you guys, these are runners right here. This plant is going places or at least it's trying to go places. So you can still get runners even if it is climbing. It just kind of happens, but you're less likely to just have runners and like no leaves if you put it on something such as a pole. And then over here we have a Syndapsis Silvery Ann also climbing up a pole. That is just a lot, a lot, a lot of leaves and vines going on on that plant. This is $189. And then next to it, we have a Syndapsis Pictus Exotica for 185. Also just a ton, a ton of vines going up a pole like this. I personally, you guys, I like how this looks compared to just having like one or two vines growing up a pole or a plank or whatever kind of support you're using. It just, looks more lush, looks more attractive in my personal opinion. And over here, you guys, we have some Cissus Discolor, AKA Rex Begonia Vines. Now, once again, these are not actually begonias. They are just called Rex Begonia Vines because they do have a similar look to a begonia, but these plants are beautiful. One day I hope to own one. Look at the back side of this leaf. Look how beautiful that is. And these are $18. They are in six inch pots. Normally when I see these, they're in hanging baskets. And this is another one of those plants where you can let it trail, but I have seen people with absolutely stunning ones where they are growing up a pole or a plank as well. We've got some more Syndapsis over here. It's like, these are Syndapsis Argerius for $13.50. Looking beautiful. <laughs> We've got some Syngonium Milk Confetti, I believe, which you guys know, not my favorite Syngonium. Yes, Syngonium Milk Confettis for $11.99. I just, if you haven't seen my video on plants I don't get the hype about, this is just one of the plants that I don't get the hype about. If you wanna know why, I will link that video down below in the description for you. But I will say these have more pink on them than most of the Syngonium Milk Confettis that I come across when I do come across them. Here we've got some philodendron silver swords. Silver swords have been coming way down in price. So yeah, $13.50 for that. I remember like probably even just a little over a year ago, this would have been like at least double, if not more than that. 
Then we've got back here, we've got some pothos. So this says this is a neon queen. And that is $14.99. We've got some more Syngonium over here. Is this, that's what I thought. This is a strawberry ice. Now, this is also in that video of plants I don't get the hype about that I was telling you about. This is $16.99, by the way. Once again, not my favorite Syngonium. And it's partially because they always just, I don't know, they all present a little bit differently too. So for example, this doesn't look as off-putting to me as some of the other strawberry ices that I've seen. This actually looks much better than a lot of the ones that I have seen. But sometimes they just have like the way the red presents just is not for me personally. Here we have some philodendron brandies for $16. In case you guys are wondering, I don't own my brandy anymore. I did sell it. We just... My conditions in my home, my Brandy did not like my conditions in my home, no matter what I did. So I let her go live with somebody who had more favorable conditions. And then over here, we've got some Maranta. I th think these might be what's known as Beauty Kim. Hold on, you guys. Yes, these are Beauty Kim Marantas for $19.99. So these are very similar to what's known as just the green Maranta. I'll flash the scientific name up on screen for you, except that this is kind of like the variegated version of that. It is kind of interesting variegation. I don't know how to explain the variegation on Marantas. It's not necessarily my favorite type of variegation. It's very, I don't know how, the words, like just splash, splash strokes, brush strokes. I don't know exactly how to explain it. Hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. It's kind of, it seems very unintentional compared to a lot of other, other types of variegation. Maybe that's what it is. It kind of almost looks very sport variegation-y, like a plant's trying to variegate, but it's not fully variegating. But I have seen some where it's a little bit more pronounced and it can look quite beautiful. And then right next to this, we do have the regular green Maranta that I was just talking about. And then coming over here, uh, I believe these are philodendron Parisio Verdes. Yes, for $14.99. And in case you guys are looking at these and thinking it doesn't look super like a Parisio, Parisio Verde, you can see the variegation kind of more on this leaf that's coming in. This is one of those things I tell you guys all the time about this plant. It really comes down to heat, it seems. If you really want that white contrasty variegation, apparently they just really like to be hot. So if you're having a struggle with yours not looking the way you want it to, try making it a little bit warmer. And then over here we have, I think these are philodendron rios. Yes, philodendron rios for $19.99. Got that beautiful striping down the center of that leaf. We've got some Sansevieria varieties over here. This says, this is the Tornado. And this is $14.50 for these little guys. This is one of my favorite types of Sansevieria. So this is the Boncel, I guess, also known as like the starfish variety. This is, little guy here is 1050. And then over here we have some Philodendron Domesticum Variegated. These are $59.99. Some beautiful variegation on that leaf. We've got some philodendron. I think these are Florida beauties. Well, of course, the one I picked up didn't have a tag. Oh, nope, I lied. These are by bipinna. Let me try that again. Bipinifolium variegated for $85. These are really, really pretty. Look at that leaf. That new leaf looks gorgeous. Then we've got some Monstera Peru Oreas. These are also $59.99. Starting to see these more and more lately. Then we've got some Monstera Oblica Perus for $49.99. These actually look really nice and healthy, you guys. Lots of times when I see these, they are 
not necessarily looking their best, but these look really nice. And one of the things that's so interesting to me about these compared to the regular Monstera, like Adansonii type plants, is just how big the holes are and how thin and delicate the actual parts of the leaf are. Like, I mean, looks super fragile, but super cool. And then over here, we have some Syngonium pink lavas for $29.99. We have some philodendron, are these orange? Yes, philodendron orange marmalades for $49.99. <laughs> Here's another one of those plants from that video that I linked down below for you. This is the Syngonium Pink Rolly, $115. This is the first time I've seen one in person, you guys. So called a Pink Rolly because there is a genetic mutation in this plant that causes the leaves to kind of stay curled and rolled up like this. It is a mutation of a Syngonium, what is known as a Syngonium pink mosaic, or maybe it's just Syngonium mosaic. But yes, this is just a mutation that causes the leaves to stay more rolled up like this. And that's why they look this way. There's nothing wrong per se with the plant. Like it's not like it's underwater or anything. And that's why it's doing this. It's not like these are new leaves that came in that just got stuck or anything like that. That is just how this plant grows. And then over here we have a Sansevieria whale fin, a variegated variety. This was, I believe, $75 for that. For $79.99 over here we have, I think this is, yes, this is a, a Midrum Zippolianum variegated. So Midrums are kind of I don't know, I feel like they kind of started becoming a little bit more popular. You started seeing them a little bit more frequently, maybe a year and a half ago, maybe even almost two years ago now. But I am starting to see them in person more. The variegation on this one is very kind of beautiful. Kind of, I love that marbling type variegation on plants like this. But it does get almost like finger-like leaves, as you can see here. It does like to climb, hence why it's on a support here. Over here we have variegated philodendron heart leaf. So this is basically like the variegated version of a philodendron chordatum. Very subtly variegated here, which I almost kind of like this more subtle look to the variegation on these plants than when sometimes it's a little bit more contrasted. These are $59.99. And then moving along over here, I think this is a Jerry Horn philodendron, yes. Pretty big leaves there. Mm, it is $58. And then we have some philodendron green Congo nuclears, which I am starting to see more and more. And honestly, you guys, I think I incorrectly told you in last week's video that one of the plants at one of the booths at PlantCon was a Jose Bono when it was actually one of these plants, but kind of similar, like it kind of reminds me sort of of a cross between like a Jose Bono and a variegated Burl Marks, Philodendron Burl Marks. This is $70. Speaking of variegated Philodendron Burl Marks, I think that's what we have right here. Ooh, that one leaf looks beautiful. So yes, this is Philodendron Burl Marks. This says Aurea variegated. That is typically though, when we say variegated, this is, this is the variety we're talking about. I kind of regret having sold all the ones I had in my plant inventory because I really do look like how they look and they bush out so easily, you guys. Like this is like a lot of vines in here, but this could have started as just one vine. They just really like to bush out more so than some other Philodendron varieties. These are $59.99. Then we've got some Syngonium Elano Carti Road. So this is a Syngonium that I was referencing when I was, maybe I didn't reference it in that video, but you guys referenced it in the comments of my video where I was talking about my summer plant favorites, I believe, and I was talking about how a lot of them had reddish backsides to the leaves. So one of the things I love about the Syngonium are these deep red colors to the backside of these leaves. And it contrasts really nicely with that dark, almost kind of like, and it's not really close to blackish, but it's super deep dark green. It's kind of hard to tell right now, you guys, because there are, just so you guys know, there are lights 
grow lights all up above us. So that's why there's a little bit of a glare on some of the plants. But let's see how much these are. These are $24.99. Then we've got, looks like some philodendron micans, one of my favorite plants ever. Down here, let's see if I can see a price. For $24.99, that is a six inch pot. This looks like a white, oh no, this is a philodendron red Anderson, you guys. Throwing me for a loop with that big old sectoral chunk of white on that leaf. I almost thought we were looking at a philodendron white wizard or something of the sort, but no, this is a philodendron red Anderson. These have come drastically down in price as well, $75 for that one. When this plant first came on my radar, they were like thousands of dollars, you guys. This looks like this might be an orange princess. It is an orange princess for $199. So similar to the pink princess, except that the leaves have more of that orangish color to them. And then over here we have some philodendron gloriosum, some very lovely looking ones in six inch pots. Let's see, these are $25. That is about the cheapest I have seen a philodendron gloriosum of that size. Once again, those have been coming way down in price lately as well. We have some Hoya varieties over here. I think this might be a Hushkliana. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Yes, it is a variegated Hushkli. You guys, I'm going to get tongue tied over that one. You know what I'm saying. Let's see. Oh, I didn't see a price. Maybe it was on the tag further down. I just didn't see it. Nope, maybe I need to try a different pot. <laughs> mm, don't see a price if I'll ask them, I'll flash it up on screen, but nice little four inch starter of these. And then we have more Hoyas over here. It looks like a lot of these is just a mixture of various things. I see we've got a Nova Ghost right here. Very tiny, tiny little one. $49.99 for that. Here's another Nova Ghost. This one is looking more like what I'm used to seeing them, which is looking almost silver like that. Also $49.99 for that. It's a Tom Sony Eye Splash here, $24.99. And let's see, more Nova Ghosts. These are corner, corn, corn, I'm just gonna, you guys can see the tag. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> $19.99 for that. This looks like a Wilbur Graves. This is, this is a Hoya Wilbur Graves for $45. This looks like the China variety. The China variety tends to have a slightly narrower shape to the leaf in my experience. Is this also a Hoya? No, that's a no. Uh, Wilbur Graves. It looks like that's the only Wilbur Graves. Just looking to see if maybe there was one that was a Russia for comparison purposes. This is a Nap 016 for $12.99. Uh, these are some very large Big Ben variegated Diffenbachia. You guys, look at that leaf. That is stunning. These are $169.99. Here are some Monstera pinapartita, I think is how it is pronounced, for $105. Very kind of elongated leaves compared to a lot of the other Monsteras you're used to seeing. Very beautiful looking plant. And then up here we've got in hanging baskets some various varieties of philodendron and mostly I think neon pothos or what I'm seeing up there, although there is a Hawaiian pothos right here for $24.99. Next to that is a neon pothos for $25. Over here are some philodendron lemon limes also for $25. And then down here we have some anthurium fingers is the common name for this. $27 for these, obviously called that because of the shape of these leaves looking like fingers. Here is a slightly larger philodendron green Congo nuclear for 75. 
We've got some philodendron Florida ghosts over here for $45. Those have been coming down a bit in price too. Here is an Aglianema Manila Pride, which you can see that beautiful variegation on that leaf. So these typically will get that very creamy colored variegation on them. This is $87. And looks like back here, we have an Epipremnum Manjula for $65. Sorry, you guys, Epipremnum Manjula Ponsen, or Punsen. Started to say that did not look like a regular Epipremnum, Epipremnum Manjula. So slightly different, more like a green on green type variegation. Ooh, look at that leaf. Let's see what this is. This is a philodendron yellow flame for $180. Look at those stems. See that striping? That is a beautiful plant. And then over here we have some Monstera adansonii mint. These are $39.99. Have that subtle variegation on those leaves. <laughs> Here is a Syngonium Winlandii, I believe. Yes, for $59.99. Actually, that might be a variegated Winlandii. Well, or maybe it's not, maybe, hold on you guys. Let me pick up a different one, that tag was folded. I take that back. I was second guessing myself immediately when I saw that variegation. This is a Syngonium scrambled eggs, but has a similar look to the Winlandii, but this is variegated, obviously. This leaf right here, look at that leaf. I just spotted a variegated ZZ plant hiding out amongst these for $125. And then over here we have some Monstera adansonii albos for $105. Nicely variegated ones at that. Here is a little Syngonium Podophyllum Three Kings. This is $24.50. And then over here are some Philodendron Thai Sunrise, which I am now realizing, I saw a plant that looked like this at PlantCon. I don't know if I included it in that video for you guys or not, and I wasn't sure what it was, but this is definitely what it was. I think these are $49.99. I don't see a tag on this, you guys, but I, and I could be wrong, but I think this is a philodendron, it might be a philodendron whipple way. And then over here, we have quite a few Monstera albos going on. It's like $125 for these. Look at the beautiful variegation on that leaf. That is my kind of variegation for an albo is this more marbled look. I am not the biggest fan of the super sectoral ones like that, but they do have those as well, if that is your thing. And then over here we have some Monstera Thai constellations in little four inch pots. These are only $45 for these, you guys. And some of these have some very lovely looking variegation to them, like that one right there. Look at these giant philodendron growing up a pole here, you guys. So the one on the left here is a philodendron cordatum, and the one on the right is a philodendron lemon lime. This is what I was saying, you guys, when you got a bunch of vines going up a pole like this, it looks stunning. So let me see. It looks like they are $399.99. And over here we have philodendron Florida beauties. These are $65 for these. Variegation, in my experience on these, can vary drastically from plant to plant, but this leaf right here is looking absolutely stunning. And then over here we have a table full of philodendron strawberry shakes, and these are some lovely variegated ones, you guys. Like, these are some of the best looking variegated ones that I've seen in a larger size. Let's see, these are, looks like $49.99 for these. I mean, look at that leaf. That is fabulously, beautifully vari variegated. I mean, that is just some insane coloration on those. That's what you want to see on your strawberry shakes. Look at the size of this leaf, you guys. That is one of the biggest strawberry shake leaves that I have seen in person. And then over here, we've got some lovely looking Monstera Oreas 
these are 220 I think it said. Yes, $220. These are looking very beautiful. Oreo sometimes can throw a little bit of a fit, you guys. I know some of you have commented that yours get like brown spots. I do see brown on like some of these, but for the most part, they look pretty good. Look at that one. So over here, we do have some of the Sissus Discolor in hanging baskets, just so you guys can get an idea of kind of what they look like when they're trailing. Once again, just absolutely love this plant. These are $35. And then we've got some more Hoya over here. Let's see if maybe here's more of what we were looking at. This one actually has a price on like where we were on the other side of the store. So this is $29.99 for these. We've got a Hoya Obavada variegated. This is $29.99. This is a Hoya Pubicalyx by Fung Fungi Splash, it looks like, for $95. Nice little splashy silverish variegation on that plant. This looks like hiding back out here. Some type of lacunosa, maybe. If I can get it out of there. Ah, sorry. That is a Hoya Bella Louie Boy. Hold on, you guys. For $69. His leaves are beautifully variegated. We've got some baskets of Hoya Carnosa Compacta for $69.99 up here. These are actually trailing significantly compared to most of the regular green Hoya Carnosa Compactus that I see in this area. Here is a Hoya Sunrise in a little four inch hanging basket for $47.50. Here are some Hoya Parasitica Black Margins. These are, let's see, $23.50 for these. And then over here, we have some Hoya Parv Parviflora, I think is how it's pronounced, $15.75 for these. These have some beautiful silver splash variegation on these leaves. They are a more elongated leaf. I feel like the light makes this hard for you guys to see that variegation. Let's see, is that better? This is a Hoya Incrisata Moon Shadow. This is $45. Here is a Hoya Lacunosa Variegated, you guys. So hopefully you can see why it kind of reminds me of that Hoya Bella we were looking at. Similar shape to the leaves, similar kind of coloration to it. Definitely a cute little plant. This is $39.99. All right, I had to move to slightly different lighting for you guys to really appreciate this plant. So here is a Hoya Silver Ghost. This has kind of made its way onto my Hoya wish list over the course of this past year because I just absolutely love the way the coloration looks on those leaves. This is $75. This is also sometimes labeled as a, it's technically I think it's a pubicalyx, you guys, but sometimes you'll see it also lab labeled as a pink silver ghost, just so you're aware. Here is a little Hoya lacunosa leopard skin. So this has kind of once again, that silverish splash type variegation on that. This is, I don't see a price. Hey, Chris, how much is this? Okay, guys, so I just checked on the pricing on this. This is $29.99 for this little cutie. And here we have a much larger Monstera Thai Constellation. This is $309.99. Beautiful speckly marbly variegation on this one. I think this one over here is even bigger. Let me work my way around. Oh, yes. Much bigger leaves on this one. So, this is the largest leafed philodendron melanochrysum that I have seen in person, you guys. I mean, it, 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 it's huge. Like, my hand dwarfs this thing. This is $485. Here's a philodendron biliate, a fairly large one. Looks like this is $199.99. Look at those leaves. They're so big, so deep green. This is a lovely looking plant. And then up here we have a variegated version of the philodendron biliate. Looks like this is, if I'm reading the tag right from here, 1200. 
I'm going to try to film what's in this case for you guys, but the reflections might make it tricky. This is a Monstera Adansonii variegated Laniata, I believe, $190 for this. These leaves are like crazy looking, almost borderline white with just speckles of green. Then down here, there is a Monstera Mint. Hopefully you can see that minty looking leaf there. This is $350. We've got Epiprimnum amplissimum variegated for 45. I think that's what's over here too. You can see the variegation a little bit more easily on this one, I think. Here's another Monstera mint looking super minty for 375. This is a very large philodendron red Anderson down here, you guys for $139.99. Down here we've got some of the Epiprimnum Panatum marbles. I love how these look, you guys, but you know me and Epiprimnum Panatums, we don't get along because I don't want to have them climbing, but they don't want to trail in my household. Uh, that, you guys, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but it is a variegated sans severia starfish for $69.99. They do also have some Monstera Burl Marks Flames for 150. Here is a very large philodendron jungle fever looking kind of crazy right now because it's being lit up by those cabinets behind it. But look at that leaf. This is $550. You guys, this is a beautiful, very large philodendron golden, variegated golden dragon. So you did see one of these in last week's video at PlantCon. This one actually has more leaves than the one we saw last week, and this is $725. And then over here, we have some smaller ones. So same thing we just looked at, philodendron variegated golden dragons here. That leaf looks stunning. This is 450. This is a two leaf situation. These are one of those plants that just has not really, it's not dropped in price. I mean, maybe it's dropped in price a little bit, but not like drastically in price, but they are very beautiful statement piece type plants. Here's another Aglianema Manila's Pride, you guys. I feel like this is a better one for you guys to see to understand how that variegation is, where you get those creamy sections on the leaves, how much variegation you get on each leaf. I mean, like with any variegated plant, it's just gonna vary. A lot of it will depend on your conditions as well. And then over here, you guys, this is a Philodendron Willamsii variegated, which I don't see these. <laughs> ever in person. So it's really cool to see one in person right now. That is the newest leaf. It hasn't fully hardened off. This is 600 something dollars, I think. 699.99. And then here's another Philodendron Red Anderson. Look at that new leaf that is coming in. Beautiful. Let's see how much this one is. 139.99. And then over here, we've got some, I think, Syndapsis of sorts. Yes, this is a Syndapsis Trubii Moonlight Mint for $69.99. Take that out so you can see the coloration on that a little bit better. Here we have a variegated Philodendron Silver Sword. So I'm starting to see these kind of more and more lately. So they're becoming a bit more readily, not readily available, but a bit more just popping up, trendy, whatever you want to call it. This is $525. For my alocasia lovers, we do have alocasia. Here are some alocasia pink black velvet. Now I explained this to you last week that sometimes when you see these, they are not going to look super pink. It's one of those things where it just kind of varies with conditions, the plants, etc. These are $399.99. Here is an alocasia Baginda, I think is how it is pronounced, variegated. Hopefully you can see that little bit of variegation on that leaf. Sorry, Baginda dragon scale variegated. There, that lighting's a little bit better for you. This is 470. Here's another variegated Epipermanum amplissimum. This is 49.99. Some beautiful variegation on that leaf. Here is a variegated Syngonium batik. I have never seen a variegated one before. You can see on that leaf, it's got that little bit of white variegation going on it. On on it, it is $99.99. This is a Philodendron Mykins Aurea. These are $115. You guys, they do have Philodendron Caramel Marbles. This is 
a very sizable one for 1,000. Here is a larger Burl Marks flame. This is 450. All right, I know you guys have probably been dying for me to get a close up of this wall that we started in front of here because these are some massive plants and they are beautiful. Here is a philodendron Florida beauty. I'm gonna try to see if I can see prices in there. It looks like this is $390, very sizable. Some giant philodendron gloriosums over here. They are, let's see, $500, but that's a massive pot. Like, can you guys tell how big that is? I don't know if you can tell how big it is. That's like one of the biggest pots I've ever seen. And it looks like there's definitely multiple plants in there. And then we've got a giant pothos of sort going on back here in the back. Let me see if I can see anything. I'm going to have to go into the jungle. That is an Epipermanum aureum jade, so just a jade pothos, but an extremely large one for $399.99. Here in the front, we have a philodendron by, by let me try that again, by Pinifolium aurea for $125. Look at the new leaves coming in. And then a very, very large Monstera Thai constellation. Look at the size of those leaves. Look at this leaf. That's beautiful. Okay, let me let me try to find a tag, you guys. Either there isn't a tag or it's gonna be on the back side where I can't see it. But can we look at the thickness? Look at the thickness of that. Look how thick that is. That is crazy. And then over here is just a very large, regular Monstera Deliciosa with beautiful looking leaves. It took me a second to figure out what plot that was coming from, you guys, but that is $149.99. Here we have a Syndapsis Jade Satin White Variegated for $139.99. Beautiful variegation on that. Here's a Parisio Verde. Paraiso Verde that is looking more like what I know you guys are always struggling to keep yours looking like. Once again, heat. Here is a Syndapsis Rubicon Variegated. This is $225. And then next to it, we have a Syndapsis, Syndapsis Jade Satin Yellow Variegated for $139.99. Look at that leaf. And then they also have the super clear pots that I am a huge fan of, you guys. So. If for no other reason, maybe check out their live streams for the pots. Well, you guys, that was quite a lot of plants and quite a lot of plants that I've never actually seen in person anywhere before. So I'm really impressed with the selection. Just so you guys know, they kept telling me that this is not even as many plants as they normally have. So I can't even imagine if this is considered kind of low inventory, what it would look like in here if it was high inventory because there's just a lot of selection here. So if you guys did see something that you like, once again, go give them Texas Plant Connection a follow on the Palm Street app. If you aren't on Palm Street already, use the link down below. When you do sign up using that link, you will also get a $5 credit to put towards your first purchase. And I do want to give a huge thank you to Palm Street again for sponsoring today's video and a huge thanks to Chris and Sarah for letting me come out here and film all of their beautiful plants. But I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on this tour today. If so, please be sure to click that like and or subscribe button down below. And I look forward to seeing you again next time. Aloha.